American American Sports and Entertainment Group is making a historic deal with the city of Oakland to acquire the Oakland Coliseum. Let's listen in. <laughs> Someone said, this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice. Come on, let's rejoice and be glad in this day. On this day in 1862, the District of Columbia abolished slavery. And, on let, and let the records reflect Mr. Cobb through the open post. So on this day, the city council and the mayor's office of Oakland has established, amen, this ground to be owned by the African American Sports and Entertainment Group for the development, amen, of everything. Someone said, can anything good come out of East Oakland? Um, as we're centered around championship baseball, football, basketball, but families that have supported not only this ground, but families that have experienced great losses. Let's pray, let's celebrate, let's thank God for this great opportunity. Thank you for the leadership of our distinguished mayor and council members. Let's give it up because they made it happen. A unanimous vote. Father God, we thank you, we praise you for this great day that we see unison, we see opportunity, we don't see competition as we do in sports, but we see freedom, God, of, of work, freedom, God, of housing and affordability, of business and opportunity for men and women, boys and girls of all races and background and ethnicities. And we thank you for the opportunity and investments that are coming from the north, south, east, and west to support all seven districts of this great city. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, and everybody go to a church and one of your local districts in this city. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So Beverly, on behalf of the ASCG and our entire community and so many uh, people in our community that your mother fought for, uh, I want to give you these. Also, uh, we have uh, the daughter of Dorothy King here, two daughters of Dorothy King, and we want to tell them how much they meant to us, and it was so special. She was somebody that was very close to me, so with that said, I wanted to, Nina, can you come up here and, and grab these for your mother? Next, sometimes you have to give people their flowers while they're still here. And one of the safeguards and the protectors of our community is the open post. And the open post looks out and represents us in a way that's monumental. And it makes me almost emotional to talk about it. So with that said, we want to give Gay Cobb and, and Paul Cobb, these flowers. And Gay Cobb, thank you for everything that you've done. The Oakland Post is a historical, uh, monumental establishment and institution in our community. Uh, the person I'm missing, uh, he couldn't make it, but Jeffrey P., we also are recognizing him today. With no further ado, I would like to introduce the mayor of Oakland. And before I say that, I say that this was a person who was monumental in this process occurring. It represented us and made sure that she did everything she could to be helpful in this process. So we want to thank her and we want to introduce her, Yay! Mayor Shane Top. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone, how's everyone doing today? Come on. I cannot think of a better way to kick off Black History Month than being with all of you today and with AASEG here. Yes, let's give a round of applause. You know, it's very interesting what I heard earlier around what good can come out of district, well now six, previous seven. Uh, but this is beauty. 
It's about waiting for the right organization to come to ensure that they invest in the city of Oakland. And not just the city of Oakland, but invest in the people that live in this space in deep East Oakland. And we are talking about an organization that is leading black owned businesses, partnering with black owned investment firm, working to bring housing and black owned businesses to our town, creating jobs in East Oakland, and it's the largest development opportunity for an African-American-led group in Oakland's history. I want to say that as we work to create the jobs and the economic development here in Oakland, we are always thinking about how we can open the door for historically disenfranchised groups and the people who have been shut out for way too long, for generations. And I truly believe we are heading for an agreement to do just that. So let's break it down to talk about what we're, to, uh, we're actually here today. We're talking about new public facilities. Yes. We're talking about more retail in an underserved area and an underserved part of Oakland. We're talking about hospitality and entertainment options. We're talking about more sports. And I see our young people here today, a football team. Give, give our young people a round of applause. We're talking about affordable housing so that we can keep those who have lived here in Oakland for generations, that their families can continue to live here. And I want to say it again, and I said this yesterday, I know Ms. Kathy Adams heard me say this, but we want to keep our black community here in Oakland. And that's what we're about to do with this new administration. And not just that, but in order to keep our black and brown communities here in the city of Oakland, we're going to need good paying jobs, right? And so we're going to be able, to, with this project, to actually create between 20 to 30,000 new good paying jobs so that our families, our Oakland brothers and sisters can not only live here, but they can play here. And not just that, but they can raise a family here and not have to worry about displacement I know that we have more opportunities for everyone, and we will also have a safer community for everyone. The best way we can reduce crime is to create jobs, and this is going to bring so many jobs, and not just that, I want to say again, good union jobs as well, because we know that it is good union paid jobs that will get our families to stay here. And I truly believe that we are one Oakland, no matter all our differences. Our North Star is always going to be Oakland. And if we keep Oakland as our North Star and we keep fighting together, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Because we know what the real struggle is. We know what the real struggle is. The real struggle is that if you invest directly into community, which we are doing today, but that's how we keep ourselves safe. If we invest in our young people, keep them, keeping them busy, putting money in their pockets, I always say, hey, if you give access to more social networks, that's how you increase your social net worth. And that's what we're doing today. That is what we're doing today. We are opening a whole new world for people who belong in that world, and that's all of us. It's just not for the few, for the connected, or for the wealthy. It's for all of us, and we got to start with DP Oakland first. I don't need no disparity study to tell me that we need to invest in DP East Oakland. That's where we need to start. And so today we are staying committed to DP East Oakland because that's the beauty of Oakland, that's the culture of Oakland, and this is what we're going to do in this new administration. And so I'm so honored to be with all of y'all today, and thank you so much for AASCG for having me today, and this is what community is about. Thank you. It was incredible. Thank you so much, Mayor Tao. We appreciate you. Um, this is again historical. Uh, I was uh, at a in a meeting, and we talked about the Coliseum site, and we were talking about the the NFL. And Paul Cobb said, "Why don't you guys just buy the site?" And so it was just one of those things that uh, it, it evolved, and um, and now it's about revitalizing this community more than anything else. That's what it's about. It's beyond sports. It's beyond anything. This is about creating jobs and revitalizing this community without displacement and gentrification.